Hello my Earthling friends, I'm Gigi and welcome to my Galactic the place where you find earthly plant-based recipes mixed with a taste of cosmic love. Did you know there's over 7,500 varieties of apples grown worldwide and from the time an apple seed is planted until it produces one piece of fruit, it can take up to 10 years. That's a long time to wait for just one apple. Good thing we can go buy apples at the grocery store. One of my favorite recipes to use apples in is apple crisp. Now, I find that many apple crisp recipes actually use quite a bit of sugar, which to me kind of detracts from the apples. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a recipe that uses a lot less sugar and really focuses on the main star of the show, the apples. Let's get started. For your apple filling, you're gonna need two kinds of apples, two sweet, two tart one lemon, zested and juiced, freshly grated ginger, monk fruit sugar, arrowroot, cinnamon, nutmeg and cloves, and a bit of water. To make your apple filling, you want to start by peeling and chopping your apples. Next, all you have to do is put your apples in a bowl and mix them together with all your other filling ingredients. You want to mix it all together until your apples are coated nicely with all the other ingredients. Don't forget to add about an eighth cup of water for extra juice. Last, put your apple mixture in your baking pan. Now we can go ahead and set this aside and make our topping. And for the topping, you're going to need gluten-free oatmeal, chopped dates, almond flour, spices like cinnamon and nutmeg, chopped pecans, and coconut oil. If you thought the filling was easy, the topping's even easier because you don't even have to chop anything. Just mix all of your ingredients in a bowl and stir them up. You want to make sure your coconut oil spreads all over evenly in your mixture so that everything's kind of damp. I almost forgot to add my dates. That's because I always like to put them in the refrigerator for a minute so that way they stay in pieces instead of spreading out and getting too mushy in the mixture. Now spread out your topping over your apples evenly. I've listed all the specific measurements in the description for each ingredient. And that's it! All set and ready to go in the oven. So the reason I use monk fruit sugar or dates in this recipe are because they have low glycemic index, meaning they won't spike your blood sugar like say a brown sugar or even a coconut sugar. But they are still sugars, so of course, always in moderation. Leave me a comment, let me know how your apple crisp turns out, or if you have any other fun apple facts you'd like to share. Remember, knowledge is power, and with a little less sugar, dessert doesn't always have to be a sin. Stay weird and well, my earthling friends, and see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for other plant-based recipe ideas.